All right, guys, we are back. Finally had a long, long Labor Day. Um, got up kind of late, have been doing stuff in Starfield, did some other stuff IRL, but uh, back now, good to go. So uh, a bit has happened since last we were live. Um, I kind of got a new ship because, uh, well, basically, um, a ship landed when I was out looking for minerals and I kind of sort of stole it. I mean, they were bad guys, so it was fine. It didn't look anything like this at all when I got it. It was, um, totally different, but it's much cheaper to sort of reconfigure an already existing ship than to just buy parts on a ship because it only charges you the difference between the price you're buying and the true value of the piece you're replacing, if that makes sense. So like, yeah, it's it's a lot cheaper to do it like that. I think I spent like 50,000 to customize that, that ship into what is this ship now. The only thing I don't know is how to rename it. So if you know how to rename a ship, let me know because currently it doesn't have a name, but I'm real happy with it. Um, it's got really good weapons. I mean, it's class A still because that's the best I can do is class A. Uh, it has 1500 cargo, so five times the cargo space of the previous um, ship that I had, the little crappy starter you get. It doesn't look the best. I mean, I don't think it looks terrible, but it certainly is not the coolest ship ever. It's very, very much um, function over form, but it gets the job done. So it'll work until we get something better, I guess. So we get more piloting skill. We can do a class C ship or a class B ship. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to jump in and start more stuff. I got a whole bunch of resources off screen. Um, I've been running around setting up some outposts because that's been kind of the goal. But the thing that was holding me back was just the storage space on the ship. It requires so much storage and so much, so many kind of base resources to kind of get yourself started in the game. Um, really a lot of, a lot of copper, iron, aluminum, um, some tungsten. What else? I think aluminum and copper are the biggest ones because those are required to make um, adaptive frames and aluminum, copper, and iron. Yeah, for adaptive frames, um, solar panels, and extractors of various types, and then some tungsten and some nickel and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's a pain in the butt. It's a real pain. But we're good now. We're finally on our way. Happy with what we got so far. Let me see, make sure that everybody is unloaded here. I think I already unloaded Sam. Good work dealing with the shark. I'll carry anything you need. Yeah, you're good to go. Goodbye. And nice I'm unloaded to too. 52 out of 135. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'd say we're good to go then. Yeah, I put out I put up outposts on some various places. Um, in case you're curious, one of the places that I looked I looked all over the place for various things I needed. Um, I've got a couple on the Tau SETI system, and I'll probably have this be like maybe have Tau SETI three or two be like my um, home world because they're like a nice temperate planet and moon. Um. This, this system has copper, iron, lots of various other resources, um, aluminum, beryllium. Beryllium's another one you need. You need aluminum, beryllium, copper, iron, tungsten to make stuff work. Now, tungsten is a real pain in the ass. I've only seen one single planet that has tungsten. And was that an Al Alpha Centauri? Let me check.
Yeah, it was over here on Voss um, of the All of Us um, planet. So, so over in Alpha Centauri, it's this, the same place that uh, Planet Jemison's at, you know, New Atlantis. This little moon over here. Um, and if you want to look for titanium fields where you can actually harvest tit or not titanium, um, sorry, tungsten. If you want to look for tungsten fields where you can actually harvest tungsten, you have to look in the lead areas. So I've got a tungsten slash lead mining outpost over here on uh, Voss, and it's producing tungsten for me. So I've got a bunch of various things set up. I got I have a uh, I got really lucky over here with a um, uh, th the idea with like let me just show you real quick the idea with like um, the outposts for mining is that you want to try to find a spot More that has lots of different various. Um, various resources in one spot so for example right here um let me zoom out into the third eye third person view here so over here we've got cobalt got, got a big field of cobalt we can use in here i can zoom out even more there you can see it better bunch of cobalt we can use here we've got uranium a patch of uranium over here we can extract from and also a big patch of vanadium. So this is a really good spot because we can do three different things here. I might move this a little bit in the future, but um, yeah, we've got three different spots. I don't think I have any extractors here at all yet, do I? I haven't done anything else here. No, I do have a... What is this? That was... Vanadium. I haven't found a use for vanadium yet or uranium. I did find a use for cobalt, and that's just used for making wind turbines, which I need to check. Are wind turbines better on this planet? It's awfully windy. No, they're, they're not very good. But I have lots of cobalt and a good amount of nickel. Um, I have far less on copper. I do have a copper farm set up, though, so, you know, we should be good for that. What are we... Okay, we're, we've got a, um, one of these here. Okay, I just need to go and find that. Over by my solar arrays there. Oh, it's right over, right over here. Okay. Let me go ahead and unload this. Yeah, I guess I already unloaded this recently. But yeah, the idea is you set up a, a storage thing like this. You set up your various extractors, your power source, and you just kind of go away and let it do its thing. And you come back and you've got a box full of ore you can take back to your ship. Um, I need copper really badly. Let me find one of my copper setups real quick. That's the only outpost in this plant, I think. I'm pretty sure... Was it Eridania had some copper set up? There's copper here. Aluminum here. I probably need to get rid of this one. Get rid of this outpost. It probably isn't worth keeping. I need to find... I don't know. I hate having... Because you only get eight outposts, right? So... I need to find really good spots that have multiple things in them. Copper and gold. Okay. So you, you can only have eight to start. Um, you can level it up to up to 24, which I'm, I'm sure 24 is like more than enough. But the issue you run into is that you've only got so many outposts you can make and there are a lot more elements that you need to that. So let me see what we've got here. Yeah, 26 copper. Very nice. So I will take that back. I haven't bothered setting up a gold extractor yet because there's just no point. So. I hate that, like, every landing area that you explore, it puts a new one of these here. It's annoying. I can, I can't, I wish I could delete this. So I don't need to see that there. There's some interesting stuff on this planet. I should check it out sometime whenever I'm here again. Let me zoom out again here. This one, though, this is aluminum. Well, I think I didn't have any option but to do a pure aluminum one. You can rename your outposts, too, so I just named them whatever my 
extractors are extracting there because that makes the most sense to me. And then, yeah, tell Seti, um... This is my main base, I think. This is aluminum and beryllium. I don't think I need beryllium that badly right now. Yeah, I think we're good now. All right, so I'm going to go back to my ship, and we're going to go to Aquila City. Let me first and foremost go back to my ship, dump stuff off. Where to next? Are you limited in settlement sites like in Fallout 4? No. Um, you can actually build where, wherever the hell you want. The only caveat to that is that there are some extreme planetary stuff that you can't do. Like, so if it's a... Uh, if it's a really, really remote place, you can't sit up there because there's, like, no atmosphere whatsoever or something, maybe. Um, or, like, if, if it's, like, way, way, way too hot or way, way, way too cold. And I'm talking, like, when I say too hot, I'm talking, like, uh, 500 degrees, you know? It's, it's, like, as hot as your oven can go. <laughs> like, if it's that hot, you can't, you can't go there. Um, you can't build there. And similarly on the cold. Uh, but besides that... It's pretty much fine. Let me swap over to cargo hold here. Dump off all those resources. Oh wait, did I just take all my resources? I did. That's fine. Uh, just swap back. There we go. My inventory, resources, dump them all. There we go. I've got my minigun, my shotgun, and my... I, I made this Beowulf. Um, I had this in storage. This uses the same ammo as my minigun, just a lot more efficiently. It does really nice uh, damage. Got, it's got good range. I have so much of the 777 ammo, so I customize it a little bit, but it's not like anything crazy yet. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's a, it's a good uh, consistent fire weapon. This thing is really nice, though. I like using this in close quarters. Good old two shot, pretty much instantly kill anyone. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, okay, hold on. We need to go into quest log. So we need to go and talk to Marshall Blake after we, like, we, we took care of the problem at the farm. I haven't progressed anything else, guys. I've just, I've just been doing, like, you know, mining and exploring and stuff off screen. Haven't done anything else without you, so... Just kind of the, the... I don't want to say it's boring, like, I enjoyed it a lot, but, um... The non-story stuff, you know? So you're really unlimited to plant, ge plant geography. Yes, that's, that's uh, accurate. It's mostly about... Like, where, where the planet is in terms of uh, the solar system, what the conditions are there. Like, you can land wherever you want. And, in fact, um, just to show you really quickly... So, like, let's say I wanted to get a certain resource somewhere. Um, like, let's say I wanted nickel, for example, you know? I would just land in the area that has nickel in it and put down nickel extractors once I find a field of nickel. Because there are nodes on the surface you can find that you can just zap for like one nickel right away, or you can set up nickel extractors on a nickel field. And that goes for every single resource. It's so like if I wanted argon, I could go to this argon uh, area here. I haven't found a use for argon yet, but I'm sure at some point I will. And I can set up extractors there. Now the trick is, you only get eight total, um... You only can put in eight total, um... Outposts at the start, unless you invest a lot of points into your... Like, settlement building type stuff. So, what you want to do, ideally, is find an area that has, like, multiple... Uh, things in it. So, for example... If you look right here... Notice that the aluminum and the nickel 
are just barely touching. I'll bet you that if I were to go over here, if I were to land right here, I could find a spot. If I'm lucky, I could find a spot that would have both nickel and aluminum and I could put down an outpost and I could mine both from one outpost. That'd be a really efficient outpost. Be really happy with that. And if I'm even luckier, I might find a spot that I can extract water and maybe argon from as well. Um, and maybe, who knows, maybe cobalt and benzene too, um, because they're on this planet too. All right, we gotta go talk to the marshal. The irony is that I did all this stuff and now I'm just gonna end up getting a ship for free once I finish this quest line. It'll be a better ship than mine probably, whatever. I'm a self-made man. I didn't have to have anybody give me anything, you know? I feel good about that, I guess. All right, Marshall, where are you at? A lot of famous people are visiting here. Got to be all the way up on the Better top. This than being some dust wrangler on Montara. Where how do we get there? Oh, here we go. What's the story on Montara Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off their land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. Yeah, but there are still some unanswered questions, like, why were they there for real? Why? Uh, what's going on there? They said they'd be the first, there'd be more coming. So, yeah, still more un unanswered questions. I agree. Until we see the whole picture, we won't know if Miss Wagner is truly safe. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? Well, they were definitely ex-military. I had a feeling you were no stranger to combat. Good thing, too, given the turn of events. Spent some time in uniform, huh? Respect. Where are you now, at, did Sam? Did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? They hired someone to steal a ship from Hope Tech. Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it, resentful. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The First Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago, after the Battle of Nera. What was left of it, anyway? They were pretty young, though. I wouldn't think they would have been in that battle. They couldn't be the veterans, but I'll go ahead and ask this. Could these be the veterans of the 1st Cavalry? I suppose it ain't impossible, but... It's real damn unlikely. The unit was pretty much wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court-martial for disobeying orders. I don't recall how long the sentence was. So not only was it a while ago, I mean, this, this was like a young kid. He was like, I don't know, maybe 30 tops. Didn't seem correct. What was the Colony War? I want to hear it from the Marshal's words. The war between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective? Worst conflict the settled systems has ever seen. Each side unleashed terrible weapons on the other. 
And countless people died. The armistice uh, was signed 20 years ago. But a lot of folks still bear their scars. Okay, so 20 years ago is, yeah, I mean, there's no way these guys served in that then. What happened at the Battle of Nera? The 1st Cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colony's base. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. The commanding officer of the 1st disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. And he court-martialed him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. Did he, I mean... I'm not clear on what, how they disobeyed. Did they disobey in terms of saying they weren't going to fight anymore or did they push on when they shouldn't have I don't understand were they in the moral right or wrong here I guess is what I'm saying well fighting that starship thief uh, that those men hired is our best lead that we have hell it's our only lead the Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo Nia Kalu is our ranger stationed out there she can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. What can you tell me about Ron Hope? Proud, stubborn, and smart. A self-made man. He built Hope Tech through blood, sweat, and sheer willpower. My kind of guy. And the Council of Governors? The ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. The council members are the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective. So we have to tread lightly when we're dealing with them. Okay, don't step on any political toes, got it? Okay, won't be a problem. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, deputy. Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Okay, Emma's gone. I think the marshal would go to Polvo's orbit. All right, we can just go right there, I guess. Mayday, Mayday! This is Free Star Ranger Nia Kalu. If anyone is hearing this, systems failing. Need help. I repeat, need help. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Someone needs help, though. Scan complete. You're is this land. the person? Who is it? Dad, have you ever tried Aurora? Uh, uh, well, I, not, not in a long time, sweetheart. Not since you were born. What was it like? Terrible, terrible. It was terrible. You stay away from that stuff, Cora. Trust me, it's the worst. Um, no other one. Oh, wait. No, I didn't want, didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm so confused. No, I wanted to hail them. Back in the pilot seat. They needed some help, um... But there was somebody else we could hail, yes? Careful on the surface. Been an uptake in Merc activity outside the population centers. 
Okay, I guess we're gonna dock over here and see what's going on. Green lights on outer hatch. We're docked. It's a voice actor for uh, Nick Valentine. Yeah, the uh, the marshal. Pretty sure. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have combat here, but I guess we should see what's going to go on. Maybe have our weapon out just in case. You okay? Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. Marshall sent me to find you. Need your help. <laughs> you need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. I can get you flying again. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I owe you one. Rangers always got each other's back. Not gonna ask for credits, that'd be really mean. Okay, uh, we gotta fix the ship. Do I go on the pilot seat to do that, or what? Or do we just go over here and manually fix stuff by running around the ship? Oh yeah, we just walk around and press E. Okay, got it. Um... Somebody else docking? Are there multiple docks in this ship? Because... Kind of sounded like it. I think you can dock more than one ship at a time, so... Thanks. That should get me home. Those ships should still be dealt with, though. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Just tell me where they were headed. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. Okay. Uh-oh. Physics. Yes. Okay, it's fine. Complete, 
Captain. Okay. Next, we're going to Miata. Oh, there they are. You're no match for us. Um, this is not good. I'm glad I upgraded my ship because holy crap, I would have died in the old one for sure. Looks like it's still busted though. It's got red on it. Same with the engines. Okay. Okay, it's going away over time. I'd really like more speed. Okay, we can land now, yeah. Yeah, I think we can just land now. Or is it it? You just go to Hope Town now, right? Okay, so we're going to Polvo. Don't need to go to the actual... There is a space station here, though. I can't dock, though.
Yeah, I, I can't heal them or dock. Okay. Fair enough. Just land then. Good. Okay. Nothing was here until Ron Hope. I mean, didn't do it by himself, but yeah. Hmm, nice ship over there. Hello. Oh, thought you were here to greet me. she does is goes on and on about how her youngest has made it tells everyone you met the Ron Hope I mean Ron Hope's well friendly and incredible but everyone on the factory floor bumps into him on occasion it's not that big of a deal my brother the big shot at Hope Tech let's get you settled in yes what Excuse me, excuse me. A little desperate here. This is such a This was literally nothing until All right, Adela. Came here. Deep breath. Oh god. You wanted to talk to me, so talk. Right. Right. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now, I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Uh, you better start at the beginning. Tell me what's wrong. Where to start? So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. Just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard, boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> All the time. Um. Yeah, I look at situations like that as opportunities. That's not helpful. So, I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment? Slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned... Things got crazy. Spacers, free star security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. Oh, so someone, either she was actually shipping contraband or Someone had hidden some contraband in her slag, hoping to smuggle it in. So yeah, what were you actually shipping? I don't know. I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. Well, it's gone now because you dumped it. That's really terrible. It gets even worse. A tracker just landed and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is... Everyone knows the ship, but my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim your Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? Then that puts them on me, and I, what, what do I do with the tracker? I don't know. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but he may not give you any choice. How do they only know your name? The company is... Well, a real train wreck. I'm amazed they even have my last name on file. For once, working for such a dump is a good thing. 
Well, I guess I'm uh, Captain Fahim then. You are the best. This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Well, he's right over here. Best thing that happened to us. Just a quick diversion. As vital as spaceships are to these settled systems, everything would grind to a halt without the Trade Authority. If I am not mistaken, you are new here. I hope you find Hope Town as full of opportunity as the Trade Authority does. <laughs> a marvelous place, truly laissez-faire. If you have any difficult cargo to unload, I'm happy to oblige. Oh! Listen. That is awesome, actually. I do have some. Unfortunately, I would get scanned if I came in here and I don't have a shielded cargo bay yet, so... Um... Yeah, I'll uh, let you know. It is always nice to see the Trade Authority. Are you? I think we'll be the best of friends and business partners. So, do you need anything? Sure, let's trade. Delightful. Nothing I really need right now from him, but, uh... Oh, cool. New gun. Have not seen that before. I will sell some stuff to you, maybe. We'll see. I don't know if I have anything I want to sell or not. Um, ship inventory... Nah, probably... N well, maybe one pack. Oh, yeah, I got this earlier, too. We can sell this, uh, stolen... Thing we have. I got this earlier too, but it's not that great. I mean, it has 20 carry capacity, but everything else is kind of meh. Less melee damage taken. Uh, chance to disarm nearby attackers. I mean, I'm sure that's only, like, for melee attacks, so... Eh. Just okay. I never know who's someone I can talk to and who's just a regular Pardon. customer. If you need anything, just ask for me. Sal. Looks like another newcomer. Welcome to the pit stop. We have a little bit of everything. <coughs> what uh, brings you to Hope Town? Well, I was looking for some work. Well, I heard there's someone at the best defense looking for someone. No idea what it's about. I, I think his name is Suds. Suds? Eh, you can't miss them. A uh, word of warning, it can get a little rowdy here. Keep your gun holstered and there won't be any problems. I don't plan on making any trouble. Oh, you just became my favorite customer. You need anything? We got more than booze here. What can you tell me about Hopetown? People like to grouse, but truth is Hopetown's the brightest spot on this planet. Deep down, all of us are beyond grateful to Mr. Hope. But the workers work hard and play hard too, so it's best not to drop your guard. What do you really think about Hope Town? Most people come from hard work on the farms, and Hope Tech is light years better than that. But it could be better. Anytime people start getting upset, Hope Tech changes things. But it seems to me they're just doing the bare minimum to keep the workers happy. And isn't that like it is everywhere, pretty much? You have a lot of people coming through here? There's almost always a few visitors here for Hope Tech. But mainly, it's all us locals trying to get by. You heard any good rumors? There was a deep hauler said she picked up some sort of distress call in the Charybdis system. 
Responding to distress calls can be quite lucrative, if your ship can handle itself. Okay, um, let's see what you got. Let's set you up. You don't have any healing stuff, do you? Med packs? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Run home. Polvo would just be a sad lot of What are you up to? Ernesto. <laughs> it doesn't look much like a uh, bounty hunter to me. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? Might buy you a drink. If I go right in with this, um, things could go sideways. Uh, what are you doing here? A little of this, a little of that. I like to keep busy. Uh-huh. And who are you? Friends call me Ernesto. Actually, everyone does. Because it's my name and all. And you? Well, here we go. Captain Fahim, pleasure to meet you. I'll take that drink now. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markup? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. You don't seem so bad. I haven't done anything wrong. Let's not do this. So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Oh, I have to persuade him? Look, Adela doesn't deserve a bounty on her. This whole thing doesn't add up. Maybe. Maybe not. There's no way I pass this. You seem like an honorable man. You wouldn't kill an innocent. I do my best. Deep down, you want to do the right thing, and killing me is wrong. It's not easy. But I don't kill people that don't need killing. I can say this again, I guess. It's the easiest one, so... Don't really? Play me. That one failed? I believe you'd say just about anything to avoid me taking you down. Well, I'm done talking. Okay. Okay. Tough rain looks. Oh, this is happening. Time to get medieval. Oh, it's done. Time to dance. Didn't we just say we weren't going to make any trouble? Now look here, What's Ernesto. On, caveman? I guess we're just gonna kill him. I was gonna let him live, but I guess not. Waste not, need not. We got here some chili. Midnight special. This is nice stuff. Ooh, experience gain. Oh, it's a stealing though. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. We don't want any more trouble. 
might be best if you leave for now. I'm real sorry about that, Saul. We don't want any more trouble. Might be best if you leave. Well, have fun doing. Well, whatever you do. Didn't resolve anything though. She still has a bounty on her, so. Do I have to go clear a bounty somehow? I don't hear any complaints. I heard the fighting. I'm so sorry. Take this reward. I have to go before another tracker arrives. Thank you. You should ditch your ship and run. They never give up. Oh, and isn't that a cheery thought? Just need a few supplies and I'm gone for good. Yeah, I mean, this is only a temporary thing. So what the best defense was looking for help too. Is the combat music ever gonna end? Always something good on around here. You here for commerce? Or another board tourist? Some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Don't even think about stealing anything. No haggling. The price is the price. And might be some other rules. Don't be an ass. Think you're breaking your own rule there, buddy. You see there's no law around here? Well, hardly any. Someone gets himself stabbed in the gutter, security will be all over that. And grand theft, the big stuff, maybe even a ranger will get involved. But security's got better things to do than look into every petty squabble. And I'm gonna guess he's got a petty squabble for me to address. Those are good rules, though. I can respect that. Then we won't have any problems. If you need weapons, the best defense is the only place in town. You may be thinking this place is a dump, but the hardware isn't. Lots of customers pass through. We got something for everyone. I wouldn't say it's a dump. I mean, it looks okay to me. Why do you have such serious merchandise, though? A lot of my business is with travelers. Hope Town's the only patch of civilization anywhere near here. So I have to stock things that hit a little bit harder than home defense. Well, what's it like living in Hope Town? There ain't any handouts here. You need to protect what's yours. But if you do, you can be your own person. I'll take that over being a corporate drone any day of the week. What are you looking for? Anything good? Breach, you a new shotgun. This is a combat shotgun. Looks like a proper military style shotgun. It's less damage than my uh, two shot one, but um, you know, seven round magazine's kind of nice. This is all pretty underwhelming. It's a unique one. Just deals incendiary damage, just nothing crazy. Yeah, a lot of talk for some pretty crappy stuff. Well, I guess he was not the one that had the job. Payday is always a good day. Maybe they were talking about... The woman that was out there? I don't know. Only place you can get a weapon in town. Have you seen my son? Excuse me. Kids run all over the place. Sorry. The selection here is quite good. Maybe it's this guy. Oh wow, that watch is super cool. I like it here. Very few rules. People know how to look the other way. And so many strangers coming and going all the time. A good place for business. 
Do you agree? It's all right, I guess. It is no neon. This is true. I have a small package that needs delivery to Aquila City. I need someone discreet. Not too many questions. Uh, is this contraband? Is the help that you need illegal? Illegal is a strong word. Here in Hopetown, I have taken care of things. In Aquila City, a much different story. I ask you, should smuggling really be a crime? And who do you work for? Does it matter? Truly? I know little about you, you know little about me. This is the way I like it. We should try to persuade him, though. Speak your mind. I hear you. Not happen. Yeah, probably not going to get this. Well, if you say so. That actually got it. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. If you must know, let's just say the trade authority fully approves of this endeavor. I will say no more than that. Okay, sure, what's the job? The package is contraband. If the authorities find it, it will not be good. If your ship has space for special cargo, then getting through security will be much easier. Can you handle a job like this? Uh... Not right now. Because I don't have a special cargo bay just yet. Well, what's your advice on smuggling contraband? Shielded cargo space. Lots of it. Much more than you need. Makes things easier to hide from scans. If you can acquire a signal jammer, those are good too. Okay. Not sure I can smuggle it safely. If you upgrade your ship with shielded cargo space, come back to me. Hi, mister. I wish I could go with you on your ship, but I'm not old enough. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? It was a good fight, but I got him. I'm sure they didn't want to die any more than you did. It's a pointless and stupid waste of life, but they brought it on themselves. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Yeah, let's go. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Go meet the big shot, I guess. Trucks you somebody? in space. <laughs> Their motto always cracks me up. He's on the Council of Governors. The Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile him up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. Can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. So he's literally kind of like is, our boss's boss. Try to show a little respect. The council of governors oversee the rangers, and I'm a ranger, so yeah, literally... Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, 
<laughs> above everyone. Just seems like a lot of stairs to me. Would have opted for an elevator myself. decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Birchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, Dan, good to see you. I think we're done here, Birchett. Yes, sir. Oh, this is, um... deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! I'd do that voice it's anywhere. A noble calling being a free star ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. Sanguine, my brother. Yes, this is um what's his name from Skyrim and also uh Mr Burke from Fallout 3? Is that, name? Is that his name? The guy that wants you to blow up Megaton? I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an Shigworth, outrage yeah. it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. <sighs> Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. Are you sure? I found your stolen ship on Montera Luna. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course. That doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. Uh-huh. Yeah. Applying a little bit of a little bit on the nose there. I am aware of your position. Then, I trust that you know what I expect of you. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? The ship was delivered to a group of men who were trying to acquire a farm. Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. So why wasn't the theft reported? Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. The thief definitely had inside help. What do you know about that? What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice. I'll let you know. 
Was there anything unique about that particular ship? No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. I'll make sure I tell him that. Did anyone see the thief? We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. You don't have, like, video cameras or anything recording? Okay, I think we're done here. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. You've got a reputation for looking after your own, Mr. Hope. I'm sure the deputy here will keep that in mind. Is that so? Well... I'm glad to hear it. I've worked hard to make sure that everyone here is well cared for. Okay, you can count on my discretion, Mr. Hope. I'll say that I'm at least. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Not here, I take it. It's a massive office. Enjoy your visit to Hope Tech. Every valuable document has gone through extensive testing to validate purity and absolute decay something outside peer review. Why are there like, we're out of half and half, don't forget to meet Claire. Get some nuts, please, shelled. Oh, just making yourself at home there, Sam. This must be like his secretary's desk, I guess. Hmm, okay. I want to look around some more. Oh, are we going to have that word? That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Oh? What is it? We ran out of tungsten midway, and the 
port side weight is one point well at least we learned about you know the neon thing it's enough to go on let's hope so guess you're headed for neon there's a ranger station fair name's jalen price he's a little different than the rest of us but a neon's a different kind of place how is neon different well we could talk for an hour about that the short version would be that crime, law, and justice don't exactly mean the same things there. The badge doesn't carry the same weight on Neon, so you might have to get creative. And what can you tell me about this Ranger Price? He's what I'd call a pragmatist. He sees things for what they are. He's also well-connected, which means a lot on Neon. You should listen to what he tells you. It'll keep you out of trouble. Okay, Jalen Price, got it. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. What's next for you? I'll be taking it easy for a couple of days. Need time to heal up. Then, I need to get back up there and keep an eye out for more pirates. I'm hoping to track one of their ships so I can find their hideout. Guess we could both use a little luck, huh? Okay, well thanks for setting up the meeting. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. We'd be dust except for the factory. <laughs> Just got here and we're already headed over to Neon. This is like a corporate town, pretty much. I mean, the whole place depends upon Hope Tech, and if Hope Tech were to go under, then I fear for whoever gets between it'd be disastrous. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I'm not used to people wanting to talk to me. You're an engineer, huh? What's it like being an engineer here? Oh, it's marvelous. Generally, they only care about efficiency, cost-effectiveness, and reliability. Oh, sure, there are the odd complaints about comfort and lack of decent airflow, but they almost always side with the numbers. Which is an engineer I'm sure you like. What ships have you worked on? Well, all of them. I've been with Mr. Hope since near the beginning. I think he appreciates my attention to detail and my focus on the fundamentals. Although he has been hinting that the R&D budget may dry up if I don't produce results. Okay. Sure, sure. Bye. Yes? Off-worlders. Nothing good ever comes from. Just keep it holstered, and we'll get along fine. If you get the credits, we got what you need. Welcome to Hope Tech Sales. Give me your invoice. You got the financing set up already? Um... I don't have an invoice. You don't? W wait, you're a solo outfit, aren't you? Okay. Nice. Well, what you need to know about our ships is they're from stern about built for reliability. Other star yards might got glitz or some weird crazy lines. With Hope Tech, you get people that care about you making that 300th freight run safely and on time. What do you think about uh, Ron Hope? Listen, this whole system was nothing until Ron Hope came here. He gave us a purpose, a, a mission. Something we could be proud of. To us, this job is life. And the quality of what we make shows it. Okay, well, uh, sure, I like the sound of Hope Tech. A smart person chooses substance over form every time. Sound familiar? So what are you in the market for? Uh, 
sure. Show me what you're selling. Certainly. So these are like big cargo haulers, yeah. This thing is huge. Class C, yeah. Five thousand cargo capacity. Got really good shielding and engines and gravity, but like not so much on defenses. Holy crap. Literally a space truck. Wait, this is only 1400? Really? Not now. I just want to get all these approvals over with. Yep, it's a ship factory. Those Jackasses on line A are gonna be the death of me. You missed the tour? Yeah, this is where it happens. Listen, I ain't exactly customer facing, so just go on your way and neither of us will get in trouble. Rather have the straight scoop instead of getting a marketing bullet point. You do? Well, I guess we'll see. So here is the factory floor where you get to see me wrangle a bunch of morons into, oh, I don't know, doing their damn job. They can't be that bad. Most of them are farmers. Come here to make it rich. It's my job to drum some experience in them, kicking and screaming if need be. If you want to ask questions, make it quick. We got a tight delivery coming up. So, what's the deal with Ron Hope? Paulvo was just some nowhere dead ender until Ron Hope had a dream. Let's build sturdy, dependable ships. No nonsense, none of that damn Tayo glitz and glamour. Just a ship that flies right and will get you where you need going. Ron Hope's a goddamned hero. The working conditions seem kind of intense. This ain't no highfalutin New Atlantis desk job where everyone gets their after bleeding noon tea. This is Polvo. We work for a living. If you think this is tough, you try farming in the tundra. Believe me, these blockheads got it good. So you run the whole floor? Every rivet, every piece of plating goes through my team. If you've got a Hope Tech ship, it means I've crawled through every inch of her at least once. Just stay safe on my floor, all right? How's the grab drive coming? Can I just say, like, I love the attention to detail on all the interfaces and stuff here. Do I look like I want your damn Like, it just looks so good. Like, it looks like it could really be functional, not just bullshit, you know? It's overtime pay, plus a bump for hitting the timetable. Okay, I'm not gonna stay here too long. 
So here is the robot working on an actual ship, yeah. Or a piece of a ship. Probably a lot more of the factory we can't see because a star yard would have to be huge. Okay, so we're going to Neon, but before we do that, let me see if there's anything else on uh, this planet we can check out. There's a mining outpost here and here. Eh, actually, let's check it out real quick. Would make sense they have mining outposts here First to do uh a new world full of life the unknown. <laughs> they'd have, you know, mines here to supply the factory. Makes sense. Well, the Destroy a Crimson Fleet. Sure, I'll take it. Kill the pirate. Sure. I don't want to transport miners, though. Of industry there. Yeah. Do a little side diversion here. Kill some pirates. I need to kill some more people for my ship upgrades. Right? Like, I need to get more kills for pounding rank 3, yeah. Yeah, a whole bunch more. So yeah, the more ships I blow up, the better. We can go to Neon afterwards. We have everything on our engines. Ooh, can we... Board them, or are they already blown up? They're already blown up. Okay. That's it. Easy enough. 